How's it going everybody? Welcome to the Rocky Mountain EDC channel. Today I'm really excited to do a review for you guys on the Victorinox Alox uh, Cadet. Um, so I've had this um, Victorinox Cadet for a little while now. Um, I have given it enough time of caring um, to actually do a full review for you guys today. So this is going to be a full review. So I'm going to be talking about uh, all the properties of the uh, knife slash multi-tool itself, as well as some of the things that I like and dislike through use. Um, so I'm going to try to be as practical and in-depth as possible um, for this review. So right off the bat, the uh, Victorinox Cadet in this version here has the aluminum scales. And I can tell you right now that with the really thin profile of these aluminum scales and the actual really nice texturing actually makes um, this knife slash multi-tool feel really good. Um, it slips into the pocket really nice. You can put it in uh, the fifth pocket, works on there really nice. Um, I will say that it does have this uh, key ring attachment. It is light enough that I don't think it's too annoying on the key ring, but then again, I do feel that it is a little long that I personally did not find it uh, super pleasant or practical on the key, uh, on a keychain using that key ring. Um, but it is light and it is slim that, you know, it's really nice to slide in the pocket. And again, that aluminum um, texturing on here actually feels really good. Um, it's nice and grippy. And really, when you use all these tools, this is really just a perfect size um, for uh, just general use, right? It doesn't feel too large, uh, slim enough, and it's really discreet enough to where it really is not uh, threatening looking at all. Um, in terms of the total length of this guy, we're really looking at about, eh, about three inches in length. Um, so it's about three inches in length, which, you know, is pretty nice in terms of uh, fitting into most things uh, like your pocket uh, or even, um, in my case, I have a, an EDC uh, pouch that it also slides in there really nice as well. So when we look at really one of the main uh, features of this knife is going to be the blade. And this is a really nice full-size Victorinox, um, you know, standard stainless steel blade, you know, partial mirror polish, um, nice drop point slash spear point, whatever you want to um, call it. This is really, I would say as far as this Victorinox, the Cadet, the, the blade is really the... Uh, the shiner, right? This is the thing that really makes this uh, tool shine is that it has this really nice um, drop point Swiss Army knife, uh, standard blade shape, right? And it is uh, just about two inches long. So this is really going to be uh, useful for places that have blade length restrictions, which is really nice, but yet it's still long enough that it's really going to do uh, most of your uh, basic cutting tasks that you need. Then, as far as the other tools, we have um, a small flathead screwdriver on this component here, as well as a uh, can opener component here. And I have used the can opener on here. Um, it's what you would expect on a multi-tool. It does the job, but it's not going to do the job as well as uh, other multi-tools that have can openers on them, or even just a designated can opener, but it is going to get that job done. It's really just not the most practical. As far as that flathead screwdriver, um, it works just fine, right? It's a uh, very standard, uh, nice, um, for getting a lot of smaller uh, flathead screws and really um, can also provide as another form of tool or function as well as you can use it to pry on things if you need to, um, which is really nice for that. Then on the other side, we have a cap lifter slash bottle opener uh, and a larger 
flathead component, which can also be used as a prying for light prying uh, component as well. And then we have a wire stripper here. Um, now for me, I have not used the wire stripper. Um, I have used uh, on this variant, I have used Victorinox's uh, wire strippers before and they work, um, they work all right, right? They do the job. Um, they're going to, you know, work in a pinch when you need it to, uh, but they're really nothing special. Um, cap lifter works great, you know, very standard for Victorinox. And then we have this really nice, uh, large, um, flathead here, which, uh, is really good in a lot of, uh, scenarios. And really one of the downsides of this is because there is no, uh, partial or even full Phillips head, uh, type of attachment on here, you can really utilize both of these in scenarios, especially the small one. Um, if you do need to kind of in a pinch, uh, screw down a Phillips head, uh, type screw, it, it's going to get the job done for that too. So in a pinch, it can, uh, work for those, um, because you have those two options. And then lastly, as for the tool components, we have, um, essentially a very standard one directional, um, fine grain, fine textured, uh, nail file here, which really given the softness of the steel in this, this is really going to be just for, um, again, one of its main purpose, a nail file. Um, but as far as filing down other things, it's really not going to be uh, super great. Um, I have tried it on, uh, just giving it a shot, tried it on some soft metal to see how it would do and uh, tried it out on some wood um, and it's okay, right? And really that's gonna be due to the, just the one directional uh, pattern here, a cross um, or hex pattern is gonna be much better for um, you know getting into tougher materials or whatever it is that you want to file. And then this other component here can also be used to help uh, clean out your nails or in some cases, um, if it were just a little sharper, it could also function as an awl. Um, but because it is um, just a little too dull, it's not really going to be great as uh, an all puncturing through any type of thick material. But just for getting through some lighter materials, if you do need to puncture a hole and create uh, some type of puncture hole, it's going to be fine for that as well. So talking about the overall function of the cadet, it is in some ways what I feel is a very standard everyday carry knife. So this could really hold in place of your, you know, larger um, knife that you might carry in your daily tasks with the added function of, you know, a couple more tools, right? A little added features, right? It's a little slimmer than a thicker Victorinox still going to have a very uh, decent sized um, blade for t cutting tasks. But as far as the functions and the features, I mean, this, this tool is very limited. The biggest thing for me that I wish that the cadet had was scissors. I think if the cadet replaced, you know, the file for some scissors, I think this would push the cadet, um, a little higher on the uh, tier list for me as far as Victorinox uh, multi-tools go. It's just kind of missing that, you know, added feature. And again, with the Allox scales, um, really nice texturing, really slim, sleek design. But again, you are you are sacrificing not getting that nice added component of um, some small tweezers or a toothpick, right? So that is kind of a downside of that, um, which which does kind of stink in a way. But um, nonetheless, it, it is a very simple tool. And I think that's really what uh, drew me to it is that it is simple and it's non-threatening. It has, for one, a very decent blade um, length and shape, and it does not hinder in uh, certain areas for blade length law restrictions. But nonetheless, Really cool knife um, as far as cutting tasks, you know, it, it, it performs just as much as you would need. Really, honestly, it's going to perform what you really truly need in a lot of your daily life, right? If you need a little added, you know, strength or, um, you know, cutting edge, yeah, you could, you know, use your bigger knife like a Spyderco PM2. But for the most part, you know, this is really 
a good everyday carry knife. Now, the one thing that I think uh, Victorinox does well in general, but especially on this cadet, is the walk and talk or the snappiness of the um, tools themselves are really good. I mean, there is a good firm lockout on all of these just with the tension of that back spring. Um, you really feel like, you know, on this one, good half stop, really snappy. I mean, it, it's it's not mushy at all. So it, it is going to be locking in place, especially with the blade. Really nice. So that is a good uh, feature. It doesn't feel mushy. It's definitely uh, made well, and that is appreciated. So that is the Victorinox Cadet. I really do like this knife. I think it has a purpose and a place. Again, with the slimmer profile and the tools that it does offer, it is lacking in terms of a lot of the features that other tools might have. But as far as a simplistic EDC, this is really a good go-to. And I, I do like the design as well. So if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Rocky Mountain EDC channel. It definitely helps out. And I hope you guys have a great day.